In less than a month's time, a second piece of legislation has been introduced related to the Guam Water Works Authority's system development charge. CCU Chairman Simon Sanchez. Well, I think Senator Adams' bill is a, is a very good compromise between recognizing that existing ratepayers who have built this system need some help from new customers, new ratepayers joining the system by building their new houses or their new structures. Bill 112 was introduced by Senators Tom Atta and Rory Respicio to create an affordable housing system development charge and proposes to make the SDC less burdensome for those who are building low-cost and affordable homes. So what Bill 112 does is it takes what's roughly a $5,300 charge for uh, system development charge for, for water and wastewater. Um, and it says, for houses that cost below $180,000, the system development charge won't exceed more than 1.2% uh, of, of your cost of your house for water and 1.8% of your cost for wastewater. Sanchez says the bill was a collaborative effort and says it's a fair compromise to what others have proposed recently, including Senator Tina Munoz Barnes' Bill 93, introduced on April 17th. It eliminates the uh, uh, system development charge for the first-time homeowners, affordable housing, and it works uh, with the uh, medium income as, uh, as statute by uh, the uh, USDA and I mean as, as by HUD. Barnes says while the bill came at the recommendation of the Affordable Housing Coordinating Council, she's open-minded to all solutions. I'm very hopeful that with um, this uh, added addition to this new bill that uh, we can bring both bills out and to have a good public hearing and come up with what's best for the community as a whole. Sanchez agrees. Yeah, my hope is that uh, Senator Addo now has two bills that have been introduced to, to look at the issues and he can bring the community together. We can talk with Senator Barnes and the governor and the other senators and Mr. Webb and say, where's the balance? Bill 112 also proposes allowing the SDC to be paid when the occupancy permit is issued as opposed to the way it is now where one has to pay the SDC when the building permit is issued. Meanwhile, it was just last week when concerned resident Rodney Webb proposed a flat or percentage SDC to all users of the water and wastewater system as a more fair and equitable cost to ratepayers than the current SDC. Sanchez says while the math is correct, he still disagrees on having existing ratepayers pick up the costs for growth and new ratepayers wanting to join the system. Senator Ada's office, meanwhile, says they hope to have a public hearing for both bills together. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.